Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 116 of my modded Vectorio playthrough. First, let's connect power. So there's no more flashing. Okay, let's try to drive between here. There we go. So now we need to balance the output of these train stations that for the train station to work it has to have balanced input and output so we know the inputs are all balanced uh, now we just need to set up the output and we're going there we go from six to three I don't know if we brought enough for all of these balancers but not really got some in the inventory so we'll see how long that lasts one thing we haven't mentioned is that these balancers aren't 100% perfect that they're all they only balance properly when basically all of the inputs or all and all of the outputs are being used equally it's kind of hard to describe but it's possible that if certain belts are full or empty, that it's going to clog this thing up and it's not going to work efficiently. But the way to kind of guess if it's going to work right or not is to look to see what's happening. So we're going from six belts to three, which means that there could there has to be a lot of inefficiency in here, basically more than 50% loss of efficiency for these belts to notice so this should be fine even if it's not technically balanced because we're only needing three belts out of the original six uh, we should be okay however what happens if these belts weren't balanced what happens if we only had four of these belts full well then it's possible that if we only had four belts going into three then we would have problems but because the train is inherently balanced all six of these belts are going to be unloaded equally so they're going to go into the balancer equally and come out as three equal belts. So basically every time you use a balancer, you need to be thinking what happens if an input or an output is clogged? Is it going to mess up the balancer? And in this case, it's not. And in the case of our mining, uh, it's not going to matter because it's going from usually more to less. But even then, it's OK if... The mining station doesn't necessarily have to have maximum throughput because of the, the trains and them being in transit and all of that. But we'll have to deal with that later if the tr stations are messed up. I think we did notice uh, this one all the way down here. This big one was a little weird because the balancer was off, but, but at least in this situation we should be okay. Now, we need to decide somewhere to start the bus. And similar to how we did before, you know, where we would do a line of these. And then we would do our six right there. And then to mark the empty space between the belts again. However, we don't want to butt this up right against here because in the future we might be using a different balancer than this. For example, this, uh, let's see, where's the six to six? See how it takes up more space? And all of these kind of take up their own amount of space. This one takes up even more. That one even more so. So, actually that positioning might be okay. I mean, the most these train stations could ever unload is six belts per second anyway. That's why they're set up that way. So the most of the balancer we'd ever need is a six to six. You know what, it'd probably be okay just to leave this right where it is. That line up, just these couple of extra spaces in here should be enough to account for any uh, odd balancers that might need to go in the future there. So let's place these other balancers. Okay, 
And I think it's time to ask the trains to deliver. We won't really be able to see if it's balanced or not. I mean, it most certainly is. But since, you know, I was thinking it would be too much effort to figure out where the belts would go or place all the belts down. But let's do that now. So we need six groups of, or 12 groups of six. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it's right. 10, 11, and 12. No. Some of these got placed weird. We need some robots. Clear out these trees. So we can see what we're working with. Okay, it's been corrected, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then the extra, twelve. Okay, so yes. <laughs> When I said large bus, it meant it. But a lot of the space is just going to go empty, unused. It's only going to be used for a certain section of the bus. Does it need to actually be this thick and this wide? So yeah, looking at the placement of it, that this is this is basically as far as the bus is going to go, and then the processing is going to happen out here. So let's see if that's lined up right with the water. So it is, so the processing might go into that water a little bit, but it should be fine. And out here, it's going to go into it substantially. And on this side, the bus is going to go down. It's going to go over that water and take up that water a little bit. So we should be okay. I think this will work. Again, it looks crazy, but only for certain parts of the bus are we going to need this much output. Well, let's uh, hook up the different bus, or the different uh, elements here. Actually, yeah, let's just uh, run down the line and uh, place the, the bus markers here. See why I brought so much with us is we consume a ton of this, these bricks doing this. But it helps just to visualize where all the belts are going to go. <laughs> That helps visualize it a little more. <laughs> well, when I said future-proofing, I'm kind of meant it. This is way overkill for this stage of the base, but at the same time, we're building something fairly large here, so we don't want to have to redo it later, so we want to think to the future. And yeah, we could probably get by with only uh, nine total belts, uh, groups of six with some really clever routing. Um, but I'd rather just have everything be straight and simple. So it's gonna probably take a few more. And out of bricks. Well, we can at least see where the lines go, so we don't totally need the rest of those bricks for now. Let's grab some belts. And actually, undergrounds too. How many undergrounds do we have? A lot or not very many? Uh, not very many. I was hoping we'd have more. Oh well. We can place what we can place right now. Now, we don't technically need to place undergrounds right here because it's not like anything's going to be coming from above. So we could probably, it's a little crude, but we probably can get away with just putting belts straight across the bus on the top here. I'm trying to think if I want to start it on the left side or the right side. It probably doesn't especially matter, so... Let's see, oh, but I did it kind of a little weird, so it would be... Let's just see how the massive number of resources that 
building something this big requires. So it would come in and kind of uh, go down there. Then the next one would come in, the slot next to it, the slot next to it. So these first, uh, these first six right here would just be taken up by the resources alone. And then over here would be all the byproducts. So that's kind of, don't need to place all the belts right now. Especially because I just don't think we have that many. Yeah. Although, we're just going to be picking up more belts in the future. So, it's actually probably pretty intelligent just to use up every belt. Because we're just going to pick up a whole bunch more at the base, so. And boom. All out. <laughs> that was, what, 400 belts just right there? But... Okay, it's about time to see what all this uh, setup was for. Um, what order to take the resources in? I don't think it especially matters. Just trying to think of a situation where it would. It probably won't, so let's just do it the order it's in the menu here. So this is Sapphirite. We'll start everything with sorting. Clarify what part of the factory it's on. And sapphire. We don't need to do in or anything because there's only going to be the one. It's only the only sapphire that's going to be on a train is this one, so we don't need to get too confusing there. So sorting sapphire. Sorting Javalite and Bobmonium. Looks pretty good. Let's call a train in and <laughs> watch the magic happen. Okay, so we need to set up Sapphire Train, which is over here. Okay, it waits at Sapphire 1 for a full cargo inventory, that is correct. And then it goes to... I guess I should could put mining in front of those to make them a little more clear. Oh well, we can clean all this up later. Sorting Sapphire until inventory empty. And there it goes. Probably should make sure we're not standing directly in the way when the train gets here. Here it comes. So let's check for balance. Seems pretty good. It filled up all the way, so we have our three full belts. How much fuel did the train use to do that? Okay, it used four. Something to keep in mind. We are going to have to start fueling these trains at some point. It should be okay. It should last until we get to that point, because all these trains are going to require a huge amount of fuel when you add them all up. There you go. Make the colors match. It's just going to stay here until it uh, balances out. So let's get the next one. There it comes. Let's set up the next one as well. Suddenly everything's coming together. <laughs> Not all these trains can get where they need to go. And also, it's not important that all these boxes aren't being loaded or unloaded at the same rate because we're not consuming resources very quickly, so it doesn't really matter. 
The train isn't moving right there. Wonder why. Let's go running over there and see why it's uh, stuck. Did I send Pomodium to the wrong way? Oh, I just selected the wrong thing. Okay, well, no. <laughs> That's going to be a little confused now, so... Bombodium 1, till inventory full. And then... Sorted Bombodium until inventory empty. We're going to have to fix this manually here. There we go. Now it should make it. Okay, so it's zipping down to Bombodium, which is down there. And it stops. Okay, we just said it. Sent it to the wrong place. I like how before I could even walk to the station, the train already made it, even though it went the long way around. Okay, so now we just need this Crotinium. Looking good. Look at that, uh, Saffirate left. It's on its way back because it filled these up. Because it holds slightly more than one train's worth, so... Fortunately, we're probably going to be doing a ton of mining. There it goes. A ton of mining in the short term. Just while all of this balances out. So it's probably worth making sure the network isn't being totally overloaded. I think it takes about five minutes, roughly, for one of these trains to be unloaded with a station like this. And that's definitely why we limited this, because if we didn't do that, these trains would just keep delivering resources over and over again until we had so much of it that just way too much pollution was would have been made, so... Kind of concerned we're going to run out of power here. Kind of want to wait through the night just to make sure it's going to be okay. But all of those are going to continue doing their thing. So we can go back to base now. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to drive because we brought the truck with us. Whew, look at all that power. 70 megawatts. Oh yeah, the accumulators are kicking in already. We might be burning some coal tonight. <laughs> yeah. About 90 megawatts now totally using the accumulators. Probably would help to have radars down there. So you can actually see what's going on. But yeah, so far so good. We've taken care of all of the mining. And now the mining is automated and we have a a full circle railway that goes around our factory that we have claimed from the biters. Look at that, Saffirite. Saffirite's on its way back already. So it definitely... We could not mine it that quickly, but we could load it that quickly, and that's the important thing. To keep the trains moving and not waiting around too long. But yep, the next step as uh, we described down here, is we need to get some crushing figured out. And uh, there's definitely some planning necessary for that. So let's get to it. Fortunately, we're out of time for today, so we'll get to that the next episode. Thanks for watching.